All right, guys, today you are going to be practice drawing. You are going to practice drawing at least five different types of crystals. So I'm going to show you a few. And then on the next slide, there will be a whole printout that you can zoom in and out on to see of how to draw a couple other types of crystals. Or you can even look up or try and create your own based on some of the pictures at the beginning. You can always just scroll back to those and look back and see if you can even create some of those. So I'm gonna go through, like I said, I'm gonna draw a few different types of crystals. Feel free to pause the video anywhere along the way, replay whatever you need to, to kind of get this drawing. Or like I said, there is a step-by-step -step picture on the next slide after the video, if you need to look at some of those. So I'm always gonna start with the outside shape of the crystal and I'll kind of zoom in here. So I'm doing a six-sided crystal to start with, and I'm gonna kind of do looking at the top of the facet. So I've kind of drawn two shapes inside themselves, and then I'm going to connect the corners. So that's really my first one kind of going through all like that. I could even add ooh, some little Lines make it seem like it's shinier. Now that really three-dimensional look, that's gonna come when we actually color these in, which is something we'll talk about next week once we have figured out the basic drawing. So this next one, this is kind of the quintessential like diamond type shape. And this is a side view of their crystal. So I add there, line across, do my facets on the bottom, and then the top is gonna have a few more facets to it to really give it. So the reason is uh, that people cut crystals and stones in these faceted ways is because the light reflects through these different flat surfaces and it makes them look shinier. So this next one I'm gonna do, it's gonna start with the same shape, but I am going to have the facets in a slightly different way. Some larger facets in the middle, smaller at the top. And if you're having a really hard time with your straight lines, a ruler or a straight edge may be a really good thing for you to do. But like I said, this week, it really is, this is just practice, guys. So I'm kind of doing them on all over my paper. I'm not doing them any specific way don't feel like you have to have it done in one certain type of way. I'm just kind of drawing them all over, practicing. It is fine to mess up. This is really just to get us comfortable with it. So this next one I'm gonna do is gonna be a slightly more like natural seeming crystal. So some of my sides are gonna be a little bit different in length. So lots of different ways you guys can draw these, lots of different styles to do. This one, I'm gonna start with an octagon shape. So eight sides. Gonna do it kind of a similar way to how I did my first one where I draw a smaller front facet inside. I'm gonna connect all those corners again. But then I'm gonna add a few more facets to mine on the sides here. All right, so you guys have fun. Keep going with these. You can try creating your own. The worst thing that can happen, it doesn't look very good. And that's okay because guys remember this is practice today. I want you to hopefully get to where you at least really like two of your crystal styles because next week you are going to be asked to pick two or three crystals that you are going to use in your final version of this so kind of what is your actual final picture you're going to be asked to pick a couple from that so make sure hopefully try and create at least two if not more that you really really like so you guys have fun with this keep going and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Send me a picture of your finish. Even though this is just practice, I want to see a picture of your finished drawing when you are done. 
And guys, I'm gonna show you one other thing I will put up on the screen. If you wanna pause it on this to look at any of this, you can pause there, but there'll also be another how to draw on the final one.